Hello and welcome to another video. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ani and today I'm doing the 20 questions book tag. I was not tagged by anyone, just something I saw on booktube and thought it would be fun to do. So let's get started. The first question is, how many books are too many books in a series? Three, definitely three. If you're stretching it, four, but please stop after that. It's just way too many. Like, you're killing the buzz at that point. Three is what I vote for. Question number two. How do you feel about cliffhangers? I absolutely hate it. I absolutely hate it. Don't you? You read a book and you want to know what happens at the end, right? That's... You know, there's a start, there's the finish. And if you don't finish the book, the writers, they're leaving it up to us, the reader, to come up with something. I'm sorry, did I not already pay for this book so I can get the enjoyment out of it the way it's supposed to be? So please, don't get lazy and do your job. Give us the answer. Give us a conclusion. I do not like cliffhangers. Question number three, hardback or paperback? Well... Um, I, I used to be one of those people who would only buy hardback only because, you know, it looks good on your shelf. But recently I noticed that I like reading paperbacks way more, even like mass market paperback, unless, you know, the writing is like so light, it, it bothers me like a lot. Like I have to be able to read, you know, you know how the paper, um, mass market paperbacks are, their pages are like a little bit off-white in color so if the print is not bold it's hard for me to read that's just me but um or if the you know font is way too tiny like nine or font ten i mean you need like a reading glass for they were like yeah so anyway but recently i didn't notice that i enjoy reading paperbacks way more because they are you know tend to be light you know the pages are easy to turn um, and of course, the affordability of it. But if a book that I really enjoy, I will buy um, hardback or an author that I know I will like, I'll buy hardback. Or if it's a book series, I tend to buy hardbacks only because of the longevity of the book. So, so I guess I would say hardbacks only because of um, how long, you know, it's going to last me. Question number four, favorite book. You know, that is such such a terrible question to ask a person, a reader. I mean, do we have one favorite book? I mean, yeah. But if I absolutely had to choose, I would say Mysterious Island by Jules Verne. I believe he's he was a French author and the books were translated. I remember reading um, that book when I was like in fifth or sixth grade I can't remember exactly like a physical book that I read and I absolutely loved it so much that piqued my interest for reading I mean of course my mom used to read me you know Greek mythology when I was little my dad used to read me books like you know Treasure Island or Moby Dick stuff like that um but you know on my own that was the first book I read and um yeah, I, I loved it so much that I read uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by the same author right away. It was it was just so good. Like, I still, till this day, like, think about it, how much I love, you know, those books, like, the writer, uh, especially. So, yeah, if I absolutely had to choose, I would say Mysterious Island by Jules Verne. But since then, you know, I, of course, Kindred is one of my favorite book uh, by Octavia E. Butler. I just absolutely adore that book. The um, Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton would be another one. And then there's um, Old Man's War by John Scalzi. If we want to get like, you know, into sci-fi, it's like one of my favorite um, book as well as the whole series actually. And then um, The Wayward Pine by Blake Crouch. You know, just, yeah, I got a lot more than just that one favorite book but yeah absolutely favorite if I had to choose one out of all those I would choose that because that was one of my um, earliest reading memory I guess and yeah favorite question number five least favorite book I usually don't have one because if I don't like a book I, if I absolutely hate it I'll DNF um, yeah I'll just DNF so 
can't tell ya. Question number six, love triangles. No, I do not like love triangles. That's just horrible. I absolutely despise it. Like, why? Why would you... Like, are, is there no other people on this earth for those two individual people who happen to fall in love with that same person? No, it's just, just horrible. And it's also because it always happened to be with the best friend. Yeah. Love triangle with the best friend. No. Question number seven, the most recent book you just couldn't finish. Don't Turn Around by Michelle Gagnon. Question number eight, book you're currently reading. Well, I would refer to my uh, July TBR, but books actually that I'm currently reading are Fledgling by Octavia E. Butler and The Daughter of Smoke and Bones by Lainey Taylor. Question number nine, last book you recommended to someone. That would be Beach Read by Emily Hendry. I recommended it to my friend. Question number 10, oldest book you have read. That would be Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. What was it like, written in like 1600 or something? Question number 11, newest book you read. Book Lovers by Emily Hendry. I just read that this month and I believe that was released this year, like in February or something like that. Question number 12, favorite author. Well, this goes with the um, favorite book, right? Like, of course, I already mentioned Jules Verne, Octavia E. Butler, um, John Scalzi, and, you know, Blake Crouch, just a few, Michael Crichton. I would probably read, um, if not all, most of their books sometimes in my lifetime. I'm, um, I'm, I'm getting there slowly but surely. Question number 13, buying books or borrowing? I would say both because I will buy a book if my library wait, waiting list is too long for Kindle or, you know, even for like audiobooks. I don't physically go to the library. I don't, you know, I have kids. I can't always go everywhere. So, yeah, I noticed that the waiting list is very long. So in that note, I will probably buy a book if it's an author that I know I will enjoy reading. Um, but other than that, I will most most of the times I will borrow books from the library. Question number 14, a book you dislike that everyone else seems to love. You'll be disappointed. It's Fifth Season by N.K. Jameson. I tried reading it. I just could not get into it. I don't know. Like, I know sometimes, like, I love sci-fi, and especially if it's, you know, if there's, like, fantasy involved, I tend to love it. I don't know why I couldn't get into that book. Maybe sometimes, you know, it has to do with your mood. So I do plan on reading this book again, but at the moment, it is that. Like, everyone loves it, but I just... Yeah, I, I could not even get into like the first hundred page of that book. So that was a DNF for me. Question number 15, bookmarks or dog years? How dare you dog year a book? We can't be friends if you do that. Honestly, I used to dog year my books all the time, like when I was younger until I, you know, discovered, you know, absolutely gorgeous bookmarks. That's kind of became my um, weakness. Like I will hoard as many bookmarks as I can. It's ridiculous. Like everywhere, if I see something I like as a bookmark, I will, I'll, I'll buy it. I'll use it. Pretty bookmarks make, um, I don't know, to me reading more enjoyable. Question number 16, a book you can always reread. It's a no-brainer. Like I said, Mysterious Island by Jules Verne. I've already read that uh, multiple times when I was younger, so definitely something I can reread. Just brings back memories. Question number 17. Can you read while listening to music? Music with no words in it. Yes, but if it's like songs... Actually, I take that back because I have noticed even if it's instrumental, if it's some... Like if it's a song, they're, um, they're playing it on like the piano or, you know, a cello or something. And I know the song, I cannot focus anymore. Like I'll be, you know, humming that song instead of reading. So 
yeah, it just like as long as I don't know um, the song, I can read a book while listening to music. So I usually will listen to classical music because, you know, I don't know them, uh, most of them. So, yeah, it's a music with no words as long as I don't know what the song is about. Question number 18, one POVs or multiple? I enjoy multiple POVs. It's It just makes the book more interesting. I don't mind one POV, but I tend to enjoy if it's multiple. So I would, um, I would say multiple. Question number 19, do you read a book in one sitting or over multiple days? Definitely multiple days. I used to be able to read a book in one sitting before I had you know, kids, there's like no way I can read a book in one sitting. I can't even sit for five minutes without one of them needing something. So yes, definitely uh, multiple days. Question number 20, who do you tag? I would like to tag Reading with Merp. She is one of uh, my fellow booktuber and I absolutely adore her videos. You should definitely check it out. I will leave her um, YouTube channel link down below in the description. So definitely go check it out. Well, that is it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, leave me comments below. I love reading your comments. And until next time, please take care and I will see you soon.